Hello, welcome to my kitchen. I am B from Thermi Tucker, and I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Um, I actually, a couple of moments ago, switched on my machine and realized that uh, my schedule for the week, I'm not able to access the recipe that I wanted to cook today, but that's okay because I am able to use my iPad. Or, obviously, if I had my phone, um, which I'm recording from now, I could use my phone. So, if any time anything like that happens, remember you can always cook manually on your machine. So, don't be worried about that. But I will organize and fix that after the session. I wanted to come to, to you today to make a wonderful little recipe called curried butternut cream soup. I am doing a little twist on this one and um, I'll walk you through the process, but this is basically a simple soup um, that you can set up for four portions and it can be done literally in 20 minutes. So um, in other words, standing in front of your machine, you can be doing what you need to. Um, in 20 minutes, it's done in 35 minutes. So I'll walk you through the steps. The first thing that we're gonna do is actually add in some veggies. So our first ingredient is 150 grams worth of carrots. Now, if you don't have your machine set up on the guided recipe, all you need to do is flick on over and call up your scales and it will revert back to zero. You can put in your ingredients. So in this case, it's a little bit over 150. So mine's 167. And then the next ingredients is leeks, 250 grams. And just a little guide for you, this little silver dial on the side, that's roughly the size that you want to cut any ingredient that you are processing in your machine. So that's 250 minus 236, but that's okay. So replace those two in, and then we're going to add in one tablespoon of curry powder. Now, for those of you that are a fan of curry powder, you don't have to go and actually buy curry powder at the store, you can make your own. And all you need to do is search on Cookie Do for that recipe and you will be able to um, process or work through that. It's a very simple recipe. So a tablespoon, we love our spice in this, in this family, so I'm gonna keep that heaped. And then the next ingredient is just basically your oil. So that was the carrot, the leek, the curry powder, and 50 grams worth of olive oil or any oil that you have. So pour that in. And if you want to go a little bit less or lighter than that, you are more than welcome to. All right, so then just push X, that will remove the scales off of your machine. And then what you want to do is revert back to your driving screen, those three dots or the three circles. And the instructions on the recipe is to chop this now for four seconds on speed number four. So I don't worry about the time. I'm just going to touch the speed and I'm going to process that for four seconds. All right, so four seconds. Then it said scrape that down and then that will cook for five minutes. So I just wanted to show you this is what it looks like. You can go ahead and chop it finer. But I do know that the recipe calls for a longer cook time, so um, it's, it's okay. It will actually, at the end, you'll also be blending it, so your recipe is going to be smooth and creamy. So I'm messing all over here today. Oh dear. All right. Um, so I'll just walk through this portion. What you want to do is touch on your time. That will then spin up. You can do that with your silver dial up to five minutes. Then work from left to right. Touch your middle dial, which is your temperature, and it calls for 120 degrees Celsius. And then your speed, which is speed number one. All right, so what that will do is that will cook your initial vegetables. And then I'm just going to walk you through that process. Once that's finished, we're going to add in our butternut. So I usually prepare my butternut in um, chunks and I'll pop that in my freezer because sometimes I don't use my whole butternut. Just pop that inside your freezer and pull out the Ziplocs. It calls for 600 grams of butternut. So you can put that straight in there. It does say cut it to three to four centimeters, so pretty big. 
and then cook that for 10 minutes on 100 degrees Celsius for one minute. After that's completed, you're gonna add in water. So of course for 600, five to 600 grams of water. And uh, the option actually is you can use vegetable stock instead. So what you can do then is do a substitute. So if you love to have a really rich soup, um, you can have, and I love to do this as well, I'm giving you some of my, my little personal tips. It calls for water, so five to 600 grams, but um, you will notice also that further down in the recipe, it calls for 100 grams of single cream. So you can put that in, have that correct ratio of five to 600 grams of the water, and then your single cream. But I love to swap out and use either coconut milk or coconut cream instead because it's a dairy-free option. And this is 400. So if that is the case, then obviously I'm going to tweak my numbers and this will be 400 grams of, because I don't like to leave little leftovers, I put 400 grams of this and then I will use the 200 grams worth of water. So that's a little, uh, little uh, tip for you guys so it's basically add your water and then use your vegetable stock a tablespoon should be great uh, and then cook that with some salt and pepper so it's a teaspoon of salt and a little pinch of pepper cook that for another 15 minutes on 100 degrees celsius speed one so once that's completed what you want to do is refine that soup down to a smooth soup uh, you don't want it to be chunky and it does say on there at that point add in the cream and you're going to blend that for one minute. So when you are working with blending any ingredients obviously that have a lot of liquid, what you want to do is start off spin it up to speed 5 and then you want to gradually increase it up to speed 10 in this instance. It says do that gradually and that will then obviously result in a very smooth soup. So it does say to uh, serve this with some uh, garnished croutons. You guys enjoy this soup with whatever you love to have soups at uh, winter time. I know for, for me growing up, I used to have absolutely love croutons that had garlic and were fried with butter. That always reminds me of my grandmother. But obviously in this instance, we're not having that. But let me know in the comment section below what you and your family love to have with your soup on soup night. So I would love to find out. But that's it from me today. A lovely simple little recipe. As I said, it is curry butternut cream soup uh, with a little tweak in there to make it dairy free. But uh, if you have any questions about that recipe, please let me know and I will be showing you a picture of the end result. Uh, later on in my feed. So I hope you have a fantastic evening and I will chat with you all again soon. Bye!